Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. The Up Chanel's for this world where you know I can, 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 and I can, 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 and I will tell somebody's business. Yes, I will. I will speculate on it. I will put my own two cents on the spin on it. And um, I try to make it do what it do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you sad, I'm sad. If you happy, I'm happy. It's just where it is. But thank you for coming over to the house. Everything that's over here is a legend, okay? We don't know nothing for fact. Meaning we just getting it off the more resourceful, more credible uh, social media platforms, okay? And we're just, you know, sitting having a conversation, shooting the shit, chewing the fat on subject topics. But, you know, we have to put our disclaimers out there. It's only for the mature audience. <clears throat> and please continue to subscribe, watch my videos, and like, please. Tell other people about me. Tell them to come over here if they want a little geeky, little laugh, ha-ha, and we'll see what we can make it do. All right, but let's have this conversation. Kim Zosiak. Ooh, I think NeNe and Candy and Kenya, they're probably sitting there having a conversation and laughing to themselves about Kim Zosiak. Yes, honey. Kim had did. Kenya wrong, calling her all kinds of names and shit. Saying at least she got a man all this and the third. And look where we going. Then Nene could have the perspective that, well, she just racist. You know, she told him that she was a racist. And we can't confirm nor deny, but we more so on a uh, confirmed part that she is. And that's just because she never took trips out of the uh, state, out of the country with the girls when they had their girls trip. And I never understood why Bravo allowed that. Because that's something the, the women should have been complaining about from day one. Okay, you missed one trip, okay, for one season. But you need to be on the rest of them if you're going to be on 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 screen with us, okay? But like I said, Kim was bold anyway. She wanted to come with a, a group of black women. And I can say she held her own to a certain degree. Just did what it is. And then she did Candy wrong. She didn't want to pay Candy for a Don't Be Tardy for the Party song. And then she turned it into a, a spinoff of a series. Say, come, okay? And, and some bullshit, a reality show, I should say. But let, Kim just flew through that money, too, instead of her saving and thanking it. You know, it's still okay to, uh, you know, splurge a little here and there because, you know, you're working for your money. So you should be able to enjoy some of the fruits of your labor. Get it, got it good. But then you got all them damn kids. And you got the older two, that like they want to go nowhere. They want to plant no roots, no um, housing for themselves. They don't want to do nothing but be under you. So, like, good, good lesson you taught them. But I think Brielle is actually in college. Can't say what, um, uh, what's the girl name? The oldest one. Uh, well, we don't really matter. It don't matter at all. But anyway, uh, you would think the older two would be out on their own, making it do what it do. But Kim just shelters those girls. And Corey didn't do anything either to help them. Uh, feel like they can do things on their own and they should be out on their own. But hey, if she want her baby stuff, so be it. Candy probably laughing over there, her and Nene too. But Candy, you know, she did Candy wrong. She didn't pay Candy for that song. Um, then she stole the name that she wanted to name her baby if they ever had one, Mini Candy. She wanted to name her baby Cash. That helped her. Um, um, Kim, those environments, she named her child uh, Cash. And Candy, you know, specifically said it or, had, you know, what do you call it? Put it out there that she wanted to name her baby Cash. So why did Kim go and do it? Like, well, Candy, just like everybody has, a, you know, everybody does something to somebody that may hurt their feelings. It just is what it is. Um, I think Ace was a pretty good name for him, you know. He embodies that whole name. Blaze, you know, embodies her own name. So, I, you know, hey, because uh, Ace don't look like no cash. 
So, you know, Ace was a good good choice of a um, name to come up after, you know, Kim's old ex stole your baby's name. But anyway, you should never put that out there if you don't want nobody to know. But I'm sure you've learned your lesson. I'm sure Nene has too. But no, Nene, she would go do a show with Kim and then come back and say this, that, and the third negatively about her. And some of it may be really true. But, uh, yeah, I see that shot a little. Uh, that's why I put y'all in the video, honey. Because I should have called Kenya, but I forgot about it when I correlated the pictures. But, you know, Kenya probably laughing too. And I try to throw, you know, or uh, feel, uh, because not feel bad for somebody that's experiencing some type of issues because Kim also is um, in debt with the IRS for 1.1 something million, okay? And like I said, I stand firm on it. Ten hands up and ten toes down. I don't think their uh, so-called divorce is really a divorce. I think it's a page out of Nene and Greg uh, playbook when they got divorced. Because, you know, after that, they settled that debt, debt, debt. Uh, and however it was supposed to be settled, once they got that squared away, then she gone like, I'm going to give Greg another chance. I'm like, you ain't never left Greg in the first place. Okay, he was living downstairs. So tell me, tell me, please, wh where was the divorce? And I think that's the same thing with Kim uh, and Cora. Somebody's got a lot of debt and they're trying to get rid of it and try to, you know, Start over new, you know, that's what most, well, I ain't going to say most, some, in every race, I should say, if it benefits you um, financially now and for the future to go bankruptcy, then do it. I mean, hey, I ain't going to say the other, uh, the, privileged pe the privileged people do it all the time. Well, we know Donald Trump do it all the time. He always claimed bankruptcy. Does I understand why did we put him in office? We, I didn't, you know, of course. But why did people put him in office? Maybe because he was a Republican. And just because you make over a certain income bracket, you felt you needed to vote Republican. All right, y'all go on with that uh, scenario. But let's go on into what people had to say about the particular uh, incident that's going on uh, with the filing of Kim filing in the court system of Atlanta, uh, her divorce decree. Okay, it says was well, written by Dory Jackson from People dot com or from you know her employee People. Uh, it says Kim Zosiak Bierman and Corey Bierman split after nearly twelve years of marriage. The former Real Housewives of Atlanta star and her ex NFL pro husband have been married since November of twenty eleven. Mm hmm. Kim. And core marriage is reportedly over. The Bravo stars called it quits after nearly 12 years of marriage, according to TMZ. So, People Magazine is bouncing off of what TMZ more than likely exclusively, meaning they reported on the story first. Okay? The pair's date of separation has been listed as April 30th, per court documents obtained by TMZ. And the file, I bet you TMZ uh, have somebody in everybody's state. In the records department, in case anything come up with a celebrity, they be the first to know stuff. You know, I bet they got somebody on payroll. But anyway, that's just my thinking. I'm my conspiracy mind thinking. Okay? But uh, it says, uh, in the file in the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Star described her marriage as irretrievably broken with no hope of reconciliation. Uh, Kim is seeking primary physical custody of their children and joint legal custody. She has also asked for spousal support and the restoration of her maiden name. <laughs> I said, see, that's why people should not just because you got kids from another relationship, you should not necessarily put it in your new relationship because you don't know if y'all are going to last. Then you got them kids tied up with that person when you know they ain't going to do nothing. Nothing about it. Okay, but, uh, and then another way you can look at it, uh, the Croy cheat. Did he get tired of his plastic looking Barbie doll, Kim? I mean, I think Eve was going through the same thing. The streets are hot out there. Maybe uh, Cora and uh, uh, Michael. Is that his name? Michael Sterling. Yeah, Eva's uh, soon to be at us. Maybe they were hanging out together and trying to see what they can get out them streets. Okay? For the groupies, is what I'm saying. But anyway, that's just another theory we can um, 
think about of why they are having such a well Kim is taking a hard stance on what she wants and uh, soul custody I just don't think you would get soul custody if your husband cheated on you uh, um, Kim that's just my that's my thought uh, let me see Okay, well, no, she's saying, she's saying other children in joint legal custody, so I guess it'll be either or. I don't know about the spousal support, Kim. I don't know, because it seems like you were taking care of Corey. I heard that another, this is a third scenario you can look at. Uh, Kim gambles uh, consistently, and um, evidently she's losing because she, her house got foreclosed on twice. I mean, they ain't keeping up with the rent. Then she... Um, had to, I guess, make some type of arrangement to get the house on the floor, out of foreclosure so she could stay in there a little while longer. And then, um, what else happened? Maybe it'll come to me as I keep reading. But it's something else she did out there. But the, the, the streets are saying now, it ain't me. The streets are saying that Kim has a bad gambling habit. So, she needs to leave them slot, uh, slot machines alone or that what do you call it? The table where they be rolling snake eyes and stuff like that. That big red table with the black and red and white stripes where they using the little disc coins. It look like checker, checker pieces. Y'all know where I'm going with. Ain't no gambling, but I, I, I hopefully I subscribe. I uh, described to you all what I was talking about. Roulette table. Is that the roulette wheel table? Okay, but anyway, um, Zodiac Berman. <laughs> 44 and Croy 37 wed in November 2011 at their Georgia home. Uh, the lead up to their big day was captured in the first season of Don't Be Tardy uh, series that aired from 212 to 2020. That's eight seasons. And I'm like, girl, what in the world did you do with eight seasons worth of Bravo money? And Bravo was getting paid. Did, did you think Croy cheated with uh, Black China? Do you think he was over there? She with the uh, meddling at women. Uh-huh. You can be racist and still be wanting to take in a melanated woman and see what the hype is all about. Mm-hmm. I just say you go black, you won't go back. Uh-huh. Well, I don't know. I'm just guessing it's a fourth scenario. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'll tell you the truth. It is too much, too much, too much. Kim is facing... Ah, a divorce, a pending divorce. Well, she say it cannot be repaired. It just can't. She don't want it no more. She wants spousal support. She wants um, child support for all her kids that she had with Corey. Because she really couldn't get nothing for her two eldest kids, even though she put them under his name. Uh, maybe he can. Maybe he had to pay some uh, college tuition. Who knows? But that's a, that's a mess. That's a mess. Uh, but let's see. It says, uh, Zosie Beerman previously did not report the trouble in her marriage with Beerman in 2016 when rumors of friction surfaced after the now retired NFL player was cut from the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, Tim, I mean, Kim thought she was going to be, you know, hanging out with, um, the basketball, not the basketball, but the football wise and going to different, uh, events and stuff of that nature. She thought she had a bowler. Mm-hmm. It says, these effing idiots that write this ish in tabloids all for clicks on your website, she said at the time. You say that Croy and I are at war because he's home with me so much. Newsflash, assholes, he played for the Atlanta Falcons for eight years, so he always been effing home. Yahoo.com. Okay, I'm not, she says, she just said Yahoo. Oh, okay. Um... Hey, they were making fun of Cor Cor saying he was basically Kim's uh, <laughs> do boy. He was her chauffeur, her manager, her accountant. Ooh, some of everything. I'm like, man, why you didn't get an accountant? Then you mean, well, it depends on what kind of account you get because they may be stealing your money if you ain't watching it very, very closely. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, and thanks for watching the video. As always, I leave the light on for you, whether you come in here in the morning, the afternoon, or evening hours. I got some type of entertainment, some kiki laughs for you all. Get down in those comments and let's continue the discussion down in that platform, okay? And I will see y'all on the next video, y'all. Have a great day.
and I will see you soon. And don't forget to go over to my other channel, Make It Make Sense. I'm begging over there now. I need a thousand subscribers, and I know I hadn't been on there, you know, consistently, and I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to do better with that, but uh, help us sister out. Okay, get me to a thousand over there. And I ain't got no more for this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>